a video. Yeah. No. I, ca I can't talk about it. I can't talk about any of this stuff. You know that. Not until that the fourth day of May. Hey, what have you got here? I'm still gonna have to cut that. <laughs> I've got a really nice big box. It's it's a big box, a big shoe box. It's not just any old hold box. It. Unboxing. It's the grand it's cool. unboxing of my new shoes, my new boots. So there's one. And there's the other are one. Are they actually yours? They are now. Have you <laughs> I've got three pairs of Pipers now. I've got a leather pair, oh. a suede pair, and then this is my first vegetarian pair. So why are you so drawn to these very internet famous for all kinds of weird reasons boots? My Pipers. Yeah. That my Pipers now. Well, if you Google can, Piper you can, boots. You can it's put interesting. The box down now, oh like. yeah. <laughs> I thought it meant a nice backdrop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, these are you. well. I've, I've got a vegan. Fresh. Yes, they are fresh. That's disgusting. Um, I've got a vegan pair of sneakers, much like the ones you're wearing on your feet now, which you will demonstrate. Not so fresh. <laughs> but pretty fresh. Yeah, those are those are brisk vegan sneakers, and these are vegetarian pipers. Actually, did you say your wife's got some vegan pipers? She's mm. got the blue ones. Oh, the linen. Really yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Really two nice. colours. Yeah, yeah. Summery ones. Yeah, I really like those. I did some photographs of those. Says they're her favourite boots, but Aww. that might just be because they were a gift from me. <laughs> they are super comfy. Anyway, let me just show you. I don't know how close I can get with this, with the focus. We've locked focus, um, but you can see. I mean, if we go in there, you can tell they're brown, comfortable. So it's tweed. It's British tweed. And I would like to be able to go a bit closer. Is it really British tweed? Yes, Do you know, I is. didn't know that. That's so nice, isn't it? Yeah. And this bit here, although it looks like leather, is actually cork. That that freaks me out because cork is the kind of thing that comes in a wine bottle. Yes. And it's wood. Yes. And I've seen flexible cork stuff before and always wonder why it doesn't break. Yeah. Well, perhaps when I write a blog post about it, I can write a big section about cork just for you. Christian. Please write about the tensile strength of cork yeah. and properties in Bozu shoes. Uh, so anyway, back to these. I find that you have to tie them really tight because I really like the narrow ankle it makes. A really beautiful in my lovely, all my lovely legs. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, Don't I, go to narrowankle.com. No, oh God. Well, maybe I need to quickly buy that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, Assuming no, no, no. it's available. <laughs> don't go. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I generally tie them up and then pay attention and then I tie them again just to keep them from slipping open like that and they're very nice and I love them very much so I can't wait to wear these. Now um, another good thing about these is there's no glue, so no toxic glue in the factory which is brilliant so they're all hand stitched all the way around like that and also that means that you can disassemble them so if you wanted to you could disassemble them when they're old like yours mm -hmm. and you could either have them repaired or... Old you... like mine! Did you hear that? <laughs> old like they are. <laughs> they're over 300 days old. I mean for shoes they're doing very well. Yeah yeah you don't wear them every day. No no not no, every day. No. But yes yeah, so you could disassemble them and the bits could go into various recycling pots. That's what I like, yeah. deconstruction or even repurposing should you want to make an art piece. What are you going to make with yours? <laughs> I'm thinking a sculpture, ah, mm. if I get enough of them. Okay, I know where you're going with that one. <laughs> and something else we can't that's talk about story, right now. Yeah. So what else can I tell you about these? Um, comfortable because they've got a trademarked uh, foot mattress. So inside here. Hang on. Here's one we made earlier. This is uh, made from coconut matting. I'd say coconut husk. Can coconut, I not say that? Yeah, is it, you can. Is it the, it's the hairy bits from yes, the husk? Yeah. Yeah. The coir. Yeah. The coir. Coir. C-O-I-R. I've been saying one. coconut pube. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> well, <laughs> just move on. We're moving on. But basically, this moulds to your foot, so these sort of become a real personal shoe. And if you've ever been to a youth hostel, you might recognise this from the bathroom. Oh, lovely. Have <laughs> <laughs> you never been to a youth hostel? I have once on a hen weekend. <laughs> just the once, you see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's better off when it's beautifully crafted and created by Posu oh, yeah. and is there to support your foot. For, for a long period of time, actually, and it's actually getting more comfortable really the more I wear it. And do you, I'm going to test you. What's this? What's the soul made Latex. from? Latex. Yes. And where's that come from? Trees. Yes. What sort of tree? <laughs> Rubber tree. Yes. H e v e a. Heavier. Heavier. Someone needs Hevia. to tell me how oh. you pronounce that. But yes, so that's rubber, natural rubber. And it looks like this is bonded with natural rubber as well. Uh, it's mixed in with it. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. clever! Oh, you know because that means you don't need glue. <laughs> I'm well, learning, I'm learning. That's great. So what more can I tell you about these? Or should we wind it up now? Um, why 
do you like to work with Pozu? Ah, oh, okay. So lots of the reasons... I'm reading her eyes to see if this is all <clears throat> honest and true. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, maybe this is a whole new conversation. But um, so given that I work for myself um, and I therefore kind of have to work with brands I like, um, I'm really lucky that my client Sven is wonderful and all his team are great to work with. Um, it's an ethical brand and that would be the way I choose to live my own life and therefore I couldn't really work with a brand that wasn't ethical or eco or, you know, right. I good. have to agree. Um, it's not enough just to make money in the world anymore. You have to do good at the same time. Yeah, it would be wrong not to. But, you know, other people have other ways of living. But that's how I live my life and uh, makes me happy. So it means I enjoy my work. Yeah. Fantastic. And she gets free shoes occasionally. Yes, I might just get a few <laughs> pairs. <laughs> what's, uh, what's your Twitter name? Uh, Incredibusy. Incredibusy on Twitter. Yes, indeed. Thank you. And yours? Uh, documentally. Oh, like, I really have to, to think, think for a second. Yeah. Oh, what is it again? Okay. With two L's. Because <laughs> Americans always spell it with one L. Do you I know, I have a search open uh, oh, just yeah. to speak to Americans. Okay. Good, good. Yeah. Right, so I'm not quite sure uh, what to tell you about next. Maybe we'll do another video and we'll talk about Spring Summer 17. Sounds good. Yeah, okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.